On June 14, I went out for errands again, but this time the priority was to begin gathering the government documents that I need for something quite important. It's actually something that I started working on in maybe the third or the fourth quarter of 2019, but then the pandemic hit and I have forgotten all about it. But now I really, really, really need to do it. And today was as good a day as any to deal with this. However, first I had to drop off my mother at the bank because she also had to deal with her own banking matters. And then I went over to the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI to get my clearance renewal. And the night before I already went online accessed my account with the NBI portal and submitted my payment and requested for an appointment to pick up the clearance, which is for this morning. It's only three minutes past 11 and it is a very hot day, but it was just a short walk and I need to deal with the government. So <laughs> I'm not going to complain. And then I was made to check in with this desk right here and they gave me this little slip and marked me as a person with disability so that I can get on the priority lane. Otherwise, I would have to wait inside that waiting area with the rest of the people and I have seen the inside. There's a lot of people already waiting before me. And then after about five minutes of waiting, it was my turn already. And when I was getting my fingerprints taken, the machine would not read my fingerprints. So I was transferred to the next window with a different machine and this one was working. And then the NBI system detected no hits on my name, which means I have no pending criminal cases or anything like that. And after that, they just had to print my new clearance and give it to me. And these are all of the people waiting for their turn at the regular lane. So I am grateful that I was made to use the priority lane because I was all finished by 1121. It took me less than 20 minutes and that is very, very fast already when it comes to dealing with the Philippine government bureaucracy. The next place to go to was the Philippine Statistics Authority or PSA which is yet another government office. And like before, there was no parking space available right by the PSA. So I had to park nearby, but it's a short walk to the PSA. I also brought with me to the PSA this round paper bag from Watson's, which contains a couple of things from my friend Jane. She's not feeling well, so she's sending someone to the PSA to get these from me. And this is the PSA. When I got to the security guard who was manning the queue, he told me that I should have gotten an appointment online through this website right here. I did not know that. I actually looked this up the previous night and did not see anything like this. But Jane, who was in touch with me, she told me that as a person with disability, I can just walk in without an appointment. And when I asked the guard, he said, yes, I can just walk in. So it was a good idea to keep Jane updated about <laughs> my complaints. Exactly. Anyway, the guard asked me to get my person with disability ID photocopied at the store in the next building. So I did. And then he marked my request forms as PWD and told me to go in. The lady at the desk also told me to go right in and the person manning the queue inside allowed me to pay right away for the three different government forms that I was requesting. The thing about these documents is that we already have them. The original copies are already given to us by the government, but those are essentially not enough. We still need to get a copy of those exact same documents and that PSA version, which is printed on special paper, is what is acceptable. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> Time check, it's 11.55. While waiting for the release of my documents, let me just show you what's inside the paper bag. This is my novel, The Maps of Camarines. 
Jane asked me to buy this for her during the Philippine Book Festival. She sent me the money through an e-wallet. And this is also a personal alarm that I made an unboxing video of, and I will link it down below. I could not find better packaging in the house, so <laughs> this Watson's paper bag will have to do. So what government documents exactly did I need? I needed my own birth certificate and my son's birth certificate. And of course, I already have an original copy of those with me, but that's not official. The third document that I need is a certificate of no marriage for myself. The birth certificates cost 155 pesos each for one copy, and the certificate of no marriage costs 210 pesos for one copy. Let me just give you a quick look at what's around me with the original sound on so that you can get a better idea of this place. past 12, the delivery person from Jane called me up to say that he was right outside the PSA, so I went out with Jane's things and handed it to him. His name is Rommel. And then I'm back at my seat to wait for the release of my documents. But after a while, I thought of going over there at the releasing window to ask if maybe my documents were already ready because my request was tagged as a person with disability so people usually process things faster for us and then the person there told me that the certificate of no marriage takes two to three hours to process <laughs> fancy that no one here told me that it was a good idea that i went to ask or else i'd be i'd have been stuck four hours just wondering so i said i uh, i'm gonna go and i'll just come back after two to three hours but now it was almost time to pick up my mother from the bank but she was actually in a different branch of the same bank not anymore the branch where i dropped her off she went there herself and sent me a message only after she was already there on the way to pick her up, I gassed up at this Petron gasoline station for which I have a loyalty card that I use for rebates. And after I picked up my mother, we went home for a late lunch. It was already almost one o'clock in the afternoon. When I got home, I saw what was supposed to be my breakfast, but which I was in too much of a hurry to eat. <laughs> this is the whole and that hot dog and egg was also supposed to be my breakfast but lunch was already served so that's what i had with my usual iced tea in my taiso tumbler unboxing and review of the tumbler will be linked down below after i was done with my lunch i had taho for dessert and i always put more sugar in it even though the taho itself is already slightly sweet but i needed to be more sweet i have to cut down on sugar i know and i will i will cut down on my sugar intake at past two o'clock i drove back to the psa to get the three government documents that i needed and finally they were already done by then it was 2 26 in the afternoon and then i just drove back home because i needed to be at a webinar via zoom which was called Understanding Philippine Shamanism. It was Dr. Grace Nono talking about her book on shamanism. And this was a webinar about that book. It was scheduled for 3 p.m. and I was early, but the webinar was so fascinating. I was riveted taking down notes and all. I even forgot to take some film footages. The webinar ended at 5.30 and after that I immediately stepped out again to go to National Bookstore which is inside SM Mall because I needed clear book refills to organize and house those very same government documents that I'm in the process of gathering. 
They all need to be submitted somewhere in original and three sets of photocopies. And I prefer the originals to be protected inside clear book pages. The Seagull brand is good quality and I already have a Seagull clear book at home housing some of the government documents that I already have. I just needed more refills for it and I was thinking of picking up another Seagull branded clear book but I could not find any of them here. These are not Seagull branded so the inserts are not that good. Seagull has a white strip where the holes are. As you can see, all of the clear books here are not Seagull branded. You know, when you're dealing with the government, regardless if you are a Filipino citizen or a foreign national, as long as you're dealing with the Philippine government and all its bureaucratic forms and documents, you will need these clear books and refills in the long size. We call it the long size, but it is eight and a half by 13 inches. I decided to get just the refills for now, four packs of them, to just add to my existing clear book. And to expand that existing clear book, I got myself these post screws. These used to be called Chicago posts about 20 years ago or 25 years ago, but now they are called post screws. I got three different sizes, a set of 0.75 inches, 1 inch and 1.5 inches. And in the next video, I will show you how I expanded my 27 hole clear book. The clear book refills cost a total of 272 pesos. I was a little bit hungry at this point, so I dropped by the food court. I considered the Kandinga at G1 and the Bopis at Kamay Kainan beside it, but I eventually decided on the Kandinga. The meal set of Kandinga, which included rice and a soft drink, costs 140 pesos, but because of my person with disability discount, I only had to pay 100. I chose Kandinga over Bopis because I have not had Kandinga in a long time and my friend Alden also was not familiar with Kandinga when he was crowdsourcing for food menu preparations on his social media. I figured if I order the Kandinga, I will be able to send him an actual picture of it. It was not really that time consuming to deal with the government on this day, <laughs> largely because I got to use the priority lane, but maybe because of the heat, I felt so tired already. There's going to be more dealings with government forms and government documents in government offices in the days to come, but most likely the processes for those are just going to be more or less the same.